Hello, welcome to Music Showcase. I am your host, Johnny O. Today, we have a very special guest. Last year, he was the lead guitarist in the band Crimson Crush, and most recently, he was also the lead guitarist in the foursome, The Leftovers. Here he is, live in the flesh, Mr. Matt Florio. Hello. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Um, so, our first question, how long have you been playing guitar? Did you pick it up? How did you take, le did you take lessons? Uh, I've been playing guitar for about six years now. My, fir my first year, w I was uh, self-taught. I was like, I don't want to take lessons. I don't need lessons. <laughs> and then after that, I took lessons. Um, <laughs> I went to a small like local music place, music store, or sorry, music lesson school, mm -hmm. music school. And then after that, I moved to a local school of rock where I spent the rest of my time doing music yeah. lessons. Um, so do you have any inspirations, either musically or in life? Uh, one of my biggest music inspirations is Nile Rodgers. He's a guitar player and producer, and he's like the guitarist in Chic with songs like Le Freak, uh, Good Times. Um, but he also did producing for like David Bowie. Um, he worked with Daft Punk on some stuff, but he worked with like, you look at it and it's like all these crazy artists that it's like, wow, like, and you, like, you look at him and he covers so much ground from like 70s disco to like David Bowie, mm -hmm. like Let's Dance, to stuff to the 2010s and it's like oh my god it's cool um so i know you've probably done a lot of gigs uh, do you have a favorite memory from one of them i do um one of my favorite gi uh, gig memories was um i was playing with crimson crush in new Paltz at snugs with like a tiny little stage and um so we were playing i was standing to the left of her stage to the left of the stage and our bass player sarah was towards the middle and she was kind of like swinging her arm around as she was playing and I was headbanging, so my head was going like this, her arm was moving like this, and we kind of met in the middle, and <laughs> I headbanged forward when she swung her bass back and hit me right in the mm. eye, mm. and it started bleeding, and like people could see it, and they were like, is something, is something wrong, is something <laughs> happening? And uh, we just kept going. People were looking at me on stage like, are you good, are you good? I was like, I'm fine. Let's just, let's <laughs> adrenaline just kicks in, am I right? <laughs> it totally does, <laughs> totally does. All right, so I see you got a couple things with you, so what do we got? I do, so with me I have my, my blue Fender Stratocaster, um, so main guitar and uh, the Mustang GTX 50 uh, amp, which just has, I like it because it has a ton of built-in sounds. You can program your own. I really like it. It's very, very customizable. Nice. Right. Do you want me to play something for you today? Yeah. All right. See if I can guess a couple songs. Really cool. Let's start off. <laughs> Dude, was that Beethoven? That no, was... come on. Mary had a little lamb. Oh, you're kidding. It's a classic. Oh, God, I should have known that Dude, one. Come on. Everybody knows Mary <laughs> and about her little lamb. <laughs> well, I guess I don't. <laughs> oh. Here. All right, let's try another one. Ready? Mm -hmm. That's got to be airplane mode by Mr. Yeah, Cole, all right. right. First try. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So, do you have any like a favorite song or anything like? Oh, uh, I really like Corey Wong. <laughs> and yeah, songs by him. Yeah. Airplane Mode is by Corey Wong, but also there's a song uh, by Wolfpack called Corey Wong, too. Another band that he played with. That's not the whole thing. There's more, but, like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that is going to do it for today on Music Showcase. Tune in next week where we have our very special guest, Joe. Don't ask who he is or what his last name is. That's something you're going to have to find out next time. Have a great day, folks. <laughs>